Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm going to show you guys how I have my game set up so that I can switch between maps fairly easily, and I don't have to reinstall and do that every single time I want to change maps. This makes it a whole lot easier, way more convenient. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, if you have modded pipe previously, we're going to want to start from a fresh install. So make sure you go to Steam and uninstall pipe. Now once that's done, like I said, if you've had mods installed, or you may even just want to go check just in case, you're going to want to go to your Steam path. Mine is on my second drive. Yours is wherever you have your Steam games downloaded to. And you're going to want to scroll down and look for the pipe folder. If you don't have one, then you're good. If there is one here, you need to delete it. Uh, pretty much if you've modded the game before, when Steam goes to uninstall, it doesn't recognize files that weren't there for the install so it doesn't remove them so it leaves this behind. So make sure that's gone or those mods will interfere with your new install. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And the next thing we're going to do is install pipe. Alright now while pipe is installing there's a couple things we're going to run through. Uh, you're going to want to go to the Pipeworks Discord. You're going to want to go down to the Programs tab on the left side. Uh, scroll up to the second to last post. It should be by Plutonium on 6-25-2018. And you're going to want to download this pipeunpacker.zip. So go ahead and click on that. It will download in your browser. Uh, after that has happened, you're going to want to go to your desktop. Well, I'm going to do this on my desktop. You can create this folder wherever you want. Granted, it's going to take up a little bit of space. So desktop's probably not ideal unless you only have one hard drive, then it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to create a new folder. Nimit pipe stuff. Like I said, you can put this wherever you want on your computer. Next, we're going to open up our downloads. And we have the pipe unpacker.zip. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this into my pipe stuff folder. Now we may not always need this, but it's something just to good, good to have on hand in case you do. Um, we're going to open up this pipe stuff folder. We're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call this game presets. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do go back over to our common folder in Steam. Go down to the pipe folder because pipe should be done downloading. Yes. And right here in the main folder in pipe, you're going to want to take that pipe unpacker.zip open it up, it's a 7-zip file. You're going to want to take these three files, drag them over and drop. Okay, now you can do, you can close that after that. The next step is kind of up to you. I've always done unpack and backup. I'm not sure unpack and delete really makes a difference, but I'm just going to go with what's always worked for me. So I'm going to unpack and backup. It's going to open up this CMD window. Let it do its thing. Do not close this should only take a second. Okay, now once this is done, if you open up your pipe data folder, you have all these new files here that weren't here before. What it's done is it's a, unpacked the game for you and made it available for modding in easy terms. Now, what we're going to want to do with this is go back one folder. Now we're going to want to take this pipe data folder and in our pipe stuff folder in our game presets, let's create a new folder and name it default. And we are going to right click on pipe data in this from what we just unpacked, hit copy, and put it inside, paste it inside of this default folder. Now this is your default install. This is so you will never have to uninstall, reinstall. Uh, if a new map comes out, all you're going to have to do is import this into your Steam Apps folder uh, under Pipe, and then after that, you just add your map, bikes, characters, whatever. Uh, everything is stored as far as mods. Everything is stored inside the Pipe Data folder. So saving this one folder is really all you need. Now we're going to install a map, and I'm going to go to my regular pipe stuff folder and grab a map real fast, and we'll just go with Dan's Backyard Trails for right now. 
Now you should know how to install a map. If you don't, it's really easy. You take all these files right here that come with the map, drop them into pipe data. When it asks you to replace them, hit yes. Okay, so that's done. So now our map is installed. So now we should be able to open the game. Go into mod map. Once we get there. And we should be at Dan's trails. Dan's backyard trails. Okay, and we're gravy. As we see, it's working. It's working. So, what we're going to want to do now is go back to that pipe stuff folder, go into game presets, right click, new folder, then we're going to put in Dan's Backyard Trails. We're going to open that up, then we're going to come back over to this folder on our right over here, which is our Steam, uh, our Steam install, go back to the main pipe folder, right click on pipe data, copy and paste. Now all this is doing is setting up a game preset so whenever you want to play this map all you have to do is open up your Steam Pass. Say we had a different map installed besides what we just did. What we would do is we would come over here and we would click on pipe data and we would delete it. Then we would take this, copy it, and paste it back into here. And just like that, I've reinstalled Dan's Backyard Trails. Now say another new map comes out, gets released. All you're going to need to do to reinstall that new map... <coughs> sorry, I went a little ahead. All you're going to need to reinstall that new map is to delete that pipe data from the pipe folder in your Steam Path. Go to Default. Right-click. Copy the pipe data from that default preset come over back over into Steam Path and paste it. Now we're set up with a default install that's already been unpacked so we do not need to uninstall the game anything like that. All we need to do is open up pipe data and we'll grab another map. Let's go with Oscars ODL Park. <coughs> And we're going to want to take these files, just the level and the shared assets. That environment bank file is a sound file. We're not going to get into that right now. Just take these map files, drop them over, replace the files in the destination, open up the game. Go down to mod map, and we should be sitting right inside Oscar's ODL park. Yay, it worked. Always works. Okay. So now that we have that map installed and working, what we'll want to do is go to, sorry, I need to open up the pipe, this pipe stuff folder. Go to our game presets, right click, new, folder and we'll put ODL Park. Now we'll open that up, come back over here onto the right window on our Steam Path, make sure we're in the main pipe folder, right click pipe data, copy, paste. Now what I've done is I've created three, three game presets. One is just the default game but it's already unpacked you don't have to go it pretty much takes out that other step uh, it, we have ODL park installed right now but say we want to go back to Dan's backyard trails pretty much all we do is come over back over into our steam path delete the ODL park is what we have loaded up right now we'll right click this pipe data copy we'll paste it in here
and we will open up pipe as soon as this is done. You guys should get a picture of how this works what we're doing. All you're pretty much doing each time is exchanging that pipe data folder. So we'll come back down to mod map now and we should be right back at Dan's trails again. And there we have it. Right back at Dan's trails. So that's how I keep my game set up. That's the easiest way I have found. I know a lot of other people do the same thing. Just make a game presets folder, save that pipe data folder. Uh, I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me on Discord.